it was me versus me and everybody else in my mind was fool. You come into the league being doubted immediately. Me. I'm gonna show every motherfucker in here who I am. Yeah. I come from humble beginnings. I come from shit. I never saw anybody make this far. I had a huge chip on my shoulder. We seen Nate in practice. One of the most freakish athletes I've ever seen in my life. When I'm locked in, nobody's winning. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's Henry Ruggs, Darren Waller, Jalen Ramsey. Got That's you. how I felt. They yeah. have to see me. I literally pointed to you as you were walking by. I said, see that? Right there. So he's the best nickel in football. By the time I got there, couldn't nobody tell me shit. I'm supposed to yes. dominate every mother that I step in front of. I'm about to show, like, I'm gonna make it undeniable. GM himself is telling me, like, yeah, you're not gonna play this year. I was on the whole nother time. The better and better you get and the higher you go in this league, the more and more lonely it becomes. You're yep. supposed to be the best. I'm feeling all this pressure, but it's all in my mind. So it's never really pressure. What's your expectation for the defense? The sky is the limit. I see us being a top three defense. All right, y'all. Welcome back to The Brush. It's your boy, Max Crosby. I'm here with my brothers, Brogan Roback, Darian Sorrell, Dustin Creel. Today, I have another one of my brothers from another. Nate Hobbs, one of the best in the league, period. Absolute dog. Can't dunk on me, but he's here today. We love you, Nate. <laughs> Walk up in the light. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit light. Turn really him on God. Walk up in this light. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit light. Turn really him. You going through some shit, bro. You always got to know, even though it's hard to. You're not the only one. Yeah. There's hella other people going through that shit. You just feel like it. You know what I'm saying? And then they start blaming themselves, too, because it's, it's really? like normalized. Like they, they deserve it at that point. So. Yeah. Having people together like that to say it like that's shit's not that's normal. Important, bro. The devil and other yeah. people that have been I through your shit. The same nah, I say it all the time. The devil a con artist. Hell yeah. <laughs> he gonna lie to you. Yep. Uh, yeah. No, that's real shit though. I felt the same way when I was getting clean and getting sober and shit. I thought I was the only one on the earth going through. And be that like, cut the podcast on, man. We, no, we yeah, are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're rolling. Oh we, yeah, yeah. No, no worries. worries. No, don't even worry. Yeah, about it. no worries. Yeah, but it's the same. We just talking. Yeah, but it's real though. You get real people that have. You think your story's crazy, and then you hear somebody else's. Yeah, like, I'm a it's fucking, nuts, bro. I'm lightweight compared to you some of these people. Going There's always someone out there that has I, it worse. I always worse. think what? in my head, like, in my situation, like, somebody has went through this. Somebody right now is body in this situation yeah. that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, body. some people on body, in it. some people on the on the low end, and there's somebody that's like killing it, and I'm the type. Max, no, I'm the type like I can't, I can't like if I know somebody out there is in the same position as me killing it, that makes me want to turn up. I yeah. can't live uh, like that. I can't yeah. be like oh they killing it. And I'm over here. Where did that come from? Right. Where did that come from? Like wanting to go out there and like that specifically, like domestic violence and like mothers and all that. Like where did that come from? Um, I've always just been an advocate for, um, philanthropy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like just getting out there, I said, I always told myself, cause I was doing it before when I had no money to my name, I was out there just trying to help get what I had. So I felt like God put me in this position for a reason to, um, for that to be one of my purposes. So anytime, um, long story short, anytime there's a um, holiday, yep. I'm trying to find a way to get back. And um, about like three years ago, for Mother's Day, my mother was just calling around, like, you know, for places that, uh, my thing is helping people who are um, less less fortunate. Yeah. And any, cause that's the people who really need it. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Who, and who actually appreciate it. Yeah, that they need yeah. it. So I'm looking up, you know what I'm saying? And calling places that uh, have women that are less fortunate. And they were the ones who picked up the phone. And yep. Like, yeah. Yeah. We'll be, we'll love to have you do something. Yep. Yeah. Right. And you don't even understand how much influence and how much bro. impact that shit makes, especially being know, in your position. Bro. And we forget sometimes how much, we, bro. how much just having a conversation with somebody can change their whole perspective. We forget all the time. Cause all we, you time. know, we who we are, but it's like, you a human being too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for real, like- We all go through that's shit. That's like, yeah. I know everybody, whatever the camera is, I know everybody think Max is not a human being. <laughs> <laughs> Max is human, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. so we, we get, caught up thinking like, oh, it's just a conversation, but you motivation for somebody else. You inspired yeah. the hell out of somebody. Did you go to a, like a Catholic high school or like a, just, pro did you go to private high school um, or anything? Public. 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 Okay. 
<laughs> Definitely Pablo. Pablo Ooh. like a mug. Louisville. Ooh, <laughs> Louisville. It's part. It's Who's the best artist out of Louisville? Bryson Tiller, Jack Harlow. It's EST. Yes, so, yeah, it depends on what your style is. Like, yep. if you a big R and B, it's Bryson Tiller. Yep. If yep. you huge on rap and, and shit talk, it's um EST. Yep. If, if you're you white, pops. Jack yeah, if you're white. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that. Nah, I wasn't gonna do that. Nah, so actually, Please do bro, it. Jack in the city, bro, he hangs what? out with more black people than you can imagine. One hundred percent. For real, like I, I, I uh during the <laughs> So it was about four years ago was the Breonna Taylor incident. And mm-hmm. um yeah. when I was when I was still in Louisville, this was around COVID too. So I was I was it was crazy time, bro. Like I was in school and COVID came around, they kicked everybody who was in school out of school. So we just I'm just at home chilling, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, like when you were an athlete and you gone. It's like you in a fantasy world. Yes. And when you go back, for any reason, reality kick in. 100%. So I was back and I'm seeing like, I forgot. Like I didn't. I never knew how like trenches Louisville was yep. till I got out and was like, you know, went to yeah. another state. Because you didn't know any different, right? I didn't know any different. Right. So when I went back, I was like, <laughs> because you're getting all these not, not free meals but like yeah, you're, you're like, on a school just, for free it's and like it's low key yeah. ghetto you know what I'm yeah. saying like it's Louisville just to give y'all reference Louisville's been like top 10 like for a long time and uh the what's what's the thing like crime rate? crime rate like crime no, rate no well yeah it's, it's bad crime rate's bad too like yeah. you know what I'm saying the, uh, the murder rate but um most affordable cities okay to okay. live in top like a, 10 because, like an economical place to yes live. Yeah. yes because the, the the revenue like uh what you bring in a year is so low yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying so when i got back i was it was just crazy but anyway brianna taylor stuff was going on along with COVID. so you know i was back in one night and um people people was coming out and marching it was literally like 60s bro i swear on my life if you was put it in black and white i was out there marching they had the National Guard out with ma- machine guns, yep. you know what I'm AKs saying, looking us in the shit. eyes, AKs. Um, like, on some real, like, it's Kentucky, so it's racist. White police laughing in our right. face and shit. They throwing mace bombs, bro. They throwing smoke bombs. Like, they spray them motherfuckers with lace, but, like, they're bombs. Like, you throw it yeah. and it blow yeah. up and it's a bomb. Yeah. I'm yeah. seeing Arab people running around, you know, tears in their eyes. I'm marching, protesting and whatnot, because I was, like, deep out there. And it was just I haven't looked my right. Um, Jack, this is before I was in the league. Before we didn't, even, we didn't know who each other was. Yeah. Probably still don't know who I am. But <laughs> you know, I'm sure he's got an know. idea. But he walked. He just walks up beside me one day, like Jack Harlow. And this is when he was like, "Hi, this is like 2020." He already had like a couple hit songs yep. out. He just walks up beside me. And he's talking. He knew he went to school with somebody. I went. I, I'm close to when I'm. My best friend, he is my best friend. Type, he went to school with him after ten, and um, we got to chopping it up, and we knew each other through that mutual friend. He was just, he was just out there, yep. you know what I'm saying? Just one hundred percent by himself. I remember seeing like, stuff rapping for Breonna Taylor in the black community. So he hangs with a whole lot of black people. Like that's who he hangs with more than the white people. Yeah, that's so. funny. Yep, that's funny. That's dope though. Real talk. It is. Uh, yeah, it's random. It's, but my mom is friends with his mom. That's crazy. It's random, because you met my cousin Patrick, who's yeah. out from Louisville. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, some weird mutual connection. They're like friends now. It's random as <laughs> shit. Tough. But yeah, he's he's cool. He's cool. I've talked to him. Cool as times. hell, bro. Yeah. I am fired up for the NBA Finals. We are not there yet, but we are very close. It's looking like it's going to be the Mavs, uh, the Mavs versus the Celtics. Um, going to be a crazy matchup, and I'm a huge basketball fan. Game time makes getting NBA Finals tickets even faster and easier. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets. So I'm looking at Game Time for UFC 303, McGregor versus Chandler. It's going to be an insane event. The Game Time app will get you the best seats at the best price guaranteed. So these are the features I love at Game Time the lowest price guarantee, or Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game Time ticket coverage. 
your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying NBA Finals tickets with GameTime. Download the GameTime app, create an account, and use code THERUSH for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code THERUSH for $20 off your first purchase. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. How much does that just drive you now though? Like to want to continue to be successful, to be able to have that platform, to be able to do everything that you want to do as far as like giving back and all that goes. Bro, it's extra motivation, right? It's one of the main reasons why I'm here and why I go, my, my why. It's a big part of my why, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like being in this position, I never saw anybody make this far. So I didn't even know like how to go about this. I didn't know. There's like, no blueprint. No blueprint. Right, I just man. knew like, all right, I knew I had a crazy work ethic and I knew my dog, you know what I'm saying? Mixing my work ethic and um, my God given talent and natural ability, I can navigate it. Yep. Cause I know how I knew how to navigate life. That's one thing Lou over did teach me how to do is navigate. 100%. My situation in life. So. Yep. That's what are there? Uh, I know you talked about the domestic violence. Any other philanthropic things that you uh, that you've been putting your time into? I'm not like a social media type guy. I'm yeah. a big old film dude. My thing is, uh, I think I'm old fashioned in that sense. Like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm doing it because it's coming from the heart. I'm doing it genuinely. So, I'm not a fan of like. Oh, let's let me get a let me hire a cameraman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying to come nice. yeah, videotape me. I, I did. I've done so many things out here that uh, most people don't know about. Only mm -hmm. the people who are involved know about because I just do it, you know, off the strength. But I've spoken about mental health countless times out here. I've uh, I do every Christmas. You know, I do something. I take out like ten. 10 children with the uh, Boys and Girls Club. Yep. Um, get them shopping, get them whatever shoes and things they want oh, every yeah. Thanksgiving. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I do yeah. like a like a turkey drive Okay. and, and give turkeys. You know the man of the whatever. people. That's, the that's people. why I'm here. That's what I'm great for. Amen. And it, it's really as simple as like every week, I hop out my car if I see a homeless person. I run out, I'll be out of red light. If I see him, I feel it in my heart. I hop out, run out. I get the money out of my pocket, yeah, give him, you know, some money, give him a hand. But he know I'm I'm just random like that. I'm yeah. genuine, but like random. Whatever you're feeling, you're doing. Whatever I'm feeling. Amen. I'm yeah. do. Is I'm that act on it. is that something that you were born with in a God given thing of just being genuinely humble, or is that something you grew up, you know, that you were instilled on? I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Like who helped instill that in you? My mother and my father. I was father, gonna say, just seeing sure. your mom at least walking in my here. My mother and my father for sure, because um my mother, she just, she's a different human being. Like, again, you can vouch for that. Like, she's the best. She's the best. different. Like, I never, I never met a human that strong. Literally, man or woman. Yep. Like, she's, she's a re the biggest, probably the biggest reason why I am the way I am now. And um, I come from humble beginnings. I, I, I come from shit. Yep. Yeah. I didn't have shit period yep. to be a hundred like all the way real and then my father um he had that heart like he had that big old heart like he didn't we didn't again we didn't have shit yep like i remember riding um we had a we had a minivan you know what i'm saying four-door minivan and there was no air we had no air <laughs> in the minivan you know what i'm saying yep. like living like that we used to go to mcdonald's and you know that, uh, uh, yeah, have you ever seen Everybody Hates Chris? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. When, so <laughs> they'll be in the car, somebody get the fries, yep. somebody get the burger, mm -hmm. somebody yep. get the drink. Sort of like, really, that's yeah. how I was living. Like, I used to think we go to McDonald's. I used to think everybody had a $1 limit at McDonald's. Yeah. I used to think this was normal. Like, yeah. <laughs> everybody family go to McDonald's and get one thing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I can either get the fries, the burger, Mm -hmm. But I got a dollar limit, so I'll be with my friends and 
And mom be like, yeah, all right, you get anything you want? Like, you like anything you want? <laughs> I need a combo meal? Like, like, real? <laughs> yeah, real, like, so. <laughs> but, like, we'd be going through all that. And my daddy, my daddy, I remember, like, riding in the car, and he'll see home first. My daddy would give out and give him $10. We don't even got that $10. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Or he'll do a yeah. turkey drive. We don't need. We don't even know. We finna come up with the money to do the turkey drive. Yep. But we do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I come up off of. So I knew like it's just it's installed in me. It's by nature. Yep. It's me, but it's installed in me too. So I knew if I got some money, it, it's yeah, one hundred percent. It's important, bro. It's important, and it's funny talking about coaches. But Gus Bradley, you you had yeah, Gus for bro. a year, your rookie year, Duh. and he's you know I I get a Shout out so many people that have helped me along the way and, you know, molded me as a person. But Gus used to talk about that all the time. And it's something that st- sticks with me to this day. It's like, he always said, give with no intent to receive. It always bro. comes back twofold. And like, I live by that, bro. bro. He used to say it all the time. And it's the realest shit. Cause people talk about, you, know, you could be religious or whatever. You don't, whatever you believe in doesn't matter. At the end of the day, like you treat people right. I truly believe it comes back in, in different ways and different blessings. Yeah. And like, Gus Bradley all the time used to say that to me and it clicked right away because and it, it could test the football. It's the same thing. Like, why am I not getting this, these reps or I'm locking these up, but I'm not getting interceptions. Why not me? Why not me? I used to go to his office and be like, Gus, I don't know what what I'm doing wrong or whatever. I For some reason, I can't get a sack. He's like, listen, give with no intent to receive. It's all going to come back. And I truly, bro, it's the realest shit ever because I can go on and on and on example for example about how real that is that has been in my career, in my life, and big shout out to Gus Bradley. But yeah, no, he's, he's talking about it Big shout out to Gus Bradley. I've never, like, I'm gonna just say this, bro. I'm, I've never had a coach, I've I've never had a coach's dream harder than that in my life. No. Really, that him whole, him and Versace. That whole staff, yeah. Marinelli, That whole Versace, staff, bro, bro. they were special people. But right. Gus, I like, you know how like it's, this is a business, bro. It's money behind it, yeah, like point right. blank period. So if you're not mm-hmm. performing, like we ain't really, you know, it's, I, yeah. well, what are we gonna say to you? Like next up, like, yeah, he, yeah. He's the only coach I ever known, bro. It'd be the Friday, you remember? It'd be the Friday, the day before, the day before. Yeah. And you know we had that meeting. Um, and it'd usually be where any other coach it'd usually be about the scheme, what we gonna do. How we gonna attack, bro? He literally got a whole, um, a whole um, PowerPoint, PowerPoint, yeah, about giving, or like just being a better human being, yeah. yeah. And it'll be like it'll mess you up. Like I got a game to play. I'm sympathetic. <laughs> yeah, right now, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. supposed to be in my locked in, but it'll make you like look at the bigger picture. Like gives you perspective. Pull yeah. reasons to be even more motivated to go yeah. out there, like. Somebody, somebody's watching me, bro. I'm about to change somebody's life, inspire somebody, and it just it, it, it fills your heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So nice. you're much more good. than you're much more than just a football player. Much more. And what you're doing out there is impacting more than just entertainment. It's impact impacting people's daily lives and and getting yeah. them through those hard situations. Big shout out, guys, bro. Yeah. yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We all carry different stressors, big and small. Being in the NFL. I have very long days. In the building first, out last. That comes with meetings, workouts, practice, all different types of stressors. And something like BetterHelp is something I use as a resource because mentally it can be draining at times and mentally it can be a lot, but you gotta be on point at all times and you can't show that you're going through you know, something hard. So when you have this, it gives you an outlet to get things off your chest and keep your mind straight. Me myself have benefited heavily from therapy. Huge advocate, huge fan. Um, I think it's a sign of being a real man. It's getting stuff off your chest, uh, being vulnerable, uh, being honest about where you're at in life. I think it's super important to not talk about enough. So that is my experience. I mean, I stay in therapy um, all year round. Get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Rush today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Rush. Rush. You never know who you're inspiring. I think it's so, so true. And Gus will go up there with the PowerPoints. I look forward to it every time. It'll be all energetic. Like, 
this man named John worked at the in some random ass city Crazy, in America, bro. come with this big elaborate made up story, and you just like, bro, it was it was dope. And and you don't and like he said, I've never met a coach like that that was so he was such a personable and actual he has a genuine heart. He would go to anybody on the team, any position. He could talk to the quarterback, you talk to the old line. He would talk to everybody. He's a D coordinator. He didn't have to do that. You know what Crazy, I mean? He could go bro. up in the lab and get ready to call so plays weird. for the game. Like he really cared about the people. And damn, Gus Bradley, I miss him. He's, last he's thing, a legend. Last thing I'm gonna say about Gus stuck with me. Just mm-hmm. just shook me back. We did a PowerPoint. Well, he did a PowerPoint the day before the day before. And it was about this dude, um, this Asian uh man who owned the restaurant and this down the third. And some man was like out there and he needed um he needed some money for like uh like some type of procedure. So he had a whole day where if you if you shopped at his restaurant, you know what I'm saying? He all that money that you shot that day, he gave to the man the whole entire day. Like he didn't make no money, he just gave it to the man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, to do his procedure yeah. and they interviewed the man. He was like, was like, why would you do this? Why, 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 like, what's going on? He said, um, I don't, he was like, I don't make money to, in, to increase my standard of living. I want to make more money to increase my standard of giving. Yeah. I was yeah. like, damn. Yeah. damn. I was like, damn. Yeah. Real yeah. talk, like. 100%. Yeah. Crazy. That's, Hell yeah. So speaking of, you know, obviously you're going into your fourth year, but yeah. speaking of coaches, like obviously besides Gus, who do you think has had the biggest impact on you, player, coach, anybody in general so far in your career and who's helped you get here? Um, player, especially, I mean, coach, especially Rich, Rich Versace. Yeah. Um, I can't, you know, I can't speak enough about Rich, bro. <laughs> like that, that man right there, like, I literally, I'm not, a, you know, a mo- super emotional dude or none of that, bro. I shed a tear when I found out he was leaving because that was the first um, man other than my uncle that, like, I felt like I had that, like, a, a, it was like a father-son bond in some way. I'm not going to say, like, you know, clean cut, like, but like, it was like somewhere like a father-son. I felt like he was like a... a, a a male role model in my life I didn't have yep. for a long time. Yeah. He was like the only coach I ever let cuss me out. <laughs> let, and, let, I'll let, let. let. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. He'll he'll never let. He the really only coach I ever let cuss me out and hug me 10 minutes later. Yeah, but man. you knew it was genuine. It was from the heart. Mm-hmm. You know, um, he wants the best for you. He wants the best for me. Uh, player. He's sitting with him. Right now, like really, yeah. like I never met. I know Devontae was just on here and said the same thing, but I, it's about true. It. I've never met a player that comes with the same energy every single day and devotes himself to his craft and, and does it at that level, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With the amount of love, but at the same time, the amount of humbleness. Yeah. Down to earthness. You know what I'm saying? Like one hundred percent. You'll go on his story and you know, you'll it'll be like ten different teammates. Clips. Ten different teammates. Yeah. Not even teammates, ten different fans. Yep. That tagged him. You know what I'm saying? Most people in his position, they're not paying that no mind. Like, oh, that's a fan. Mm-hmm. They be a random fan. It is yeah. Jersey. He's gonna repost it. It's the type of duty he is. Yep. So the amount of times we go somewhere and you're like, just tag me. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Nah, I That's love, that. though. That's, That's love, bro. Yeah. Like, man, that just long, goes man. to show, like, what type of man he is on and off the field. But on the field, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro. You but know. I, I'm going to be real. Like, best, best football player I ever played with. Facts. Hands appreciate down. it, bro. It's yeah. major I love. It. No, it's major love, bro. And at the end of the day, we've I've seen you grow up fast, bro. I remember when he came in as a rookie. All he's still this way to this day, which I do <laughs> highly appreciate. But the competitive nature is ridiculous. 
no matter what room we're in, we're sparring each other. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> slap box and hit each other. I'm telling you, like, we everywhere. somebody's blood brother. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter like, where. Like, remember the Titans and she comes into the hospital room. Bro, can't that's you see that's my brother? Brother yeah. from brother. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. telling you. No, brother from another like mother, that. bro. Yeah. We was literally at a charity event. We supposed to be <laughs> out here, you know, promoting positivity and whatnot. It's a picture of us at the battle with Battle for Vegas. Yeah, Battle for Vegas. Squaring up with mitts in our hands. <laughs> at the base of our life. No, it's real. Who got the better who in that in that in that ma- in that sparring match? I mean, we, you know, I ain't finna brag. I let him have it. It's no, we, cool. I mean, we've, we've had great rounds, but it's the same thing in every, literally every facet of life, whether it's basketball, we're going to argue Everything, and go bro. back and forth. Every single sport, anything every that you sport. can, anything that <laughs> you, you can debate. compete in, <laughs> debate. Yes. We, we going at Pick it. It's yeah. That's, that's the way it should it's be. It's nonstop. But that's what it, that's what it's all about at the end of the yeah, day. So. That's what it's all about. And that's what makes it fun too. Yeah. Like when we're out in the field, I could just look at Nate and Nate's, he's not, he, you'll talk your shit from time to time, yeah. but you're laser focused. Yeah. He's quiet, silent killer, but he's out there when he makes a big play, that shit gets me going. You know what I mean? You make a big play. Yeah. It's the same thing. Nate's the first one always like, all right, man. I got I'm like, you. All right, Let's go. Like we amp each other up, but that's what makes it so much more fun. You know what I mean? Timo's the same way. Since Timo, Timo came in as a rookie, Timo, number bro. one hype man, bro. I'm he, telling you. Like we'll, it'll be before the game. Like you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, damn, is Timo locked in? Like, <laughs> is he ready he's to so play? Like, back, he's cooling. Bro. He's chilling. He's not talking. Just no. listening to his music, bro. Like it'll be mid game. He then ran across the middle, smack somebody. Ooh. <laughs> Smack somebody, <laughs> got up talking his shit. Yeah, like this is a whole different, different person than who walked into the locker yeah. room. Like, just flip the switch. Flip the switch. He's got bro. that. Yeah, he's that's got that. Shit in. He's special. No, yeah, for sure. He's, he's a si- he's another one. Silent killer, bro. Like, like Why he said, he walks in the building the most laid back. He's bro. chilling. He's him. listening to his Detroit rap. Him and Malcolm, <laughs> and bro. Hit Malcolm same way. Bro, Malcolm's baby. even lower. Like people would never expect Malcolm bro, to have that sound. You, you would think Malcolm's Malcolm, a dog. I swear, and shout out Melk, bro. Like walking through the building, you would think Malcolm is just like not a confident player, right? Yeah. Like just on some real walking through the building. Like when he hits that field, it's another person that comes out. <laughs> like I love that. You'd be like, who the fuck? Who is- <laughs> What? What? Yeah. Where's the other dude? That New York come out. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, who is this guy? For real. Yeah. yeah for real. Someone's trying to take the food off your plate. I guess it changes it up, right? Real talk. Nice. Yeah. That's fast. It is. It's it's dope. Y'all came in together the same year, mm. and y'all it's it's crazy because it's similar to our like our draft class. Like my year, we came in. All the guys that were going crazy were the back half of the draft. Right. You know I mean, you were fifth round. Yeah. Malcolm's third round. My year was like me. Honey. Foster, Hunter, yeah. all of us are going crazy, but I feel like you just naturally have, like I already have a chip on my shoulder and if I don't yeah. have one at the moment, I'll find one. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'm yeah. always finding you the same way, but you come into the league being doubted immediately. It's like, immediately. I'm going to show every in here who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was, he was the same way. I mean, Nate, you came in preseason. You knew right away. We played Seattle. Seattle was the first, that was the first preseason yeah, that was my game, first one. and we were all hyped. Like we weren't playing. Like a lot of the starters, we didn't we didn't play, and we uh we seen Nate in practice flying around, and this dude is one of the probably probably the most freakish athlete. I know he won't admit it, but one of the most freakish athletes I've ever seen in my life. Forty one inch ver- what is it? Forty one inch vertical. Forty one. Four three. They hold me for real. Yeah, like. It was really supposed to be a 43. Yeah. Um, he's, a, he's a freaking nature. They got you on lifting your feet up? Um, nah, so I was under under the little thing. And so I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the little thing. Thing. I know what you're talking about. Your Where they pull your arm. Cool, yeah. Yeah. Whatever the case is. Do my routine. I jump. And I tap it. You know what I'm saying? Tap the little, little things over. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Like, like, Tied the things over. And I do it and I've been training. So I know when I jump something, I know like around the, I'm gauging it what it is. So I immediately know I jumped about a 42. Yeah. The man under under the um you know the height thing. He tapped me, he said, now nah, go get that 44. So I know 
I know, I know, you know what I'm saying, based off my training and what he tells me. Yeah. He like, I, I didn't jump around a 42, 43. Yeah. So it's I jump again and I jump up, tap it. And I and I hit another tick. Bro, we and we right up under it, right? The scouts is they 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 about like three feet behind that door. Yep. A scout from the from the stands, I saw him on like he 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 uh get up and say 40. I saw her. the dude the dude who was there did not measure my jump. The dude who who um set up the yeah. jumpy thing. He did not measure my jump. It was a scout. He yells it from the stands 15 feet away. What? And everybody went with it. Mm. How can you even judge that from yeah, there like wild. that? That's wild. That is wild. So, that's wild. Freaky, but well, yeah, back to my point. Freak of nature. Freak. But we've seen that shit when you came in. Like our defense, you know Gus's defense. Yeah. Cover three, we're running cover three. Nate's in the nickel. And he came in making play after play after play. We played Seattle first preseason game in Allegiant with fans for the first time. And this is when Gino wasn't even the starter yet. Mm-hmm. He was the backup. And, Damn, G- and was Russ, Gino? who was yes. it? Drew Lock? G- no, Russ was the starter oh, at that sure. time. Oh, yeah. And Gino was the backup. Damn. Nate came on a nickel blitz hit Gino. I've never seen a human go airborne like that in my life. I forgot that was Gino, bro. That was Gino. You I murdered forgot. Bro. Yep. And then they said, you, Nate, no more preseason games for you. Yeah. yeah. We're going to save you for the real happened. shit. So, y'all know that's what's crazy that. about that? <laughs> yes. Um. So, like you said, I already had, I had a huge chip on my shoulder. Yeah. Because I knew it started, um, in the in the draft process, so it really started before that. Yeah. So my junior year, like take it way back. <laughs> my junior year had a good, I had a pretty good season. You know what I'm saying? We had a coach change, so I had to find my groove. Like the first two, first two three games with the coaching. After that, I I just locked in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Had a good, really good um, junior season. So I'm 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 torn between declaring and whatnot. This and third. Um, they telling me I might go third, fourth round, but you know how scouts going. Yeah, man, if you come back the next year, you're gonna be a first you might round go pick. first, second round. Blah, blah, blah. So they telling me all this, this down the third. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and stay, stay. Like I said, COVID, COVID um, hit. Um, season's crazy. It's yeah. all skewed. We go from having 12 games to seven, eight Thanks. games. Um, half our <laughs> season is cut off yep. on top of all that you know i was going through a whole lot of shit so mines everywhere like i said i brianna taylor shit was going on yep. i had a lot of friends it's a family. weird time in life yeah a lot of friends and family passing and stuff like that so mine wasn't there and on top of that i got hurt for the first time in my life during the season so I ended up having a bad season at this point i go from i'm about to get drafted um, telling me I'm going to get drafted first, second round to and all the major agencies is hitting me up. Rock Nation, Young Money, um, One, Agent One, whatever yep. they call it. Yeah, 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 all that. You know what I'm saying? To I can't get, after the last game, I can't <clears throat> get an agent to answer the phone. Damn. None of them answering the phone, bro. Like, none of them. So, it was, it was crazy. It was like a, you know what I'm saying? It was literally like it was a low point in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I felt like I was chosen to help my family. Yeah. My family out of poverty, this down the third. You know what I'm saying? And do, do, do what I gotta do for, for us. Mm-hmm. And I go from hearing that and having a great season to I feel like I lost it all. I feel like I lost my shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I finally get an agent. On, on the phone, my uncle, you know, he, he went to school with some guy. Um, shout out my agent, Trip, Greg Trip. Went to school with Trip. And he was like, Yeah, Matthew, I got an agent for you, blah, blah, blah. At this point, I'm low key, like, I'm out of it. Like, damn near depressed. Like, yeah. Cause I'm like, Bro, I just blew it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting all the blame on me, this, that, and third. So he tells me when he got on the phone, he said, Yeah, they got you going six to seven to undraft. I'm like, damn, off one year? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, I had one bad 
okay year. And I'm supposed to be going six, seven undrafted. Took my senior bowl, um, invite away, all that stuff. Dude, you know what I'm man. saying? So I was, you know, I was pounding one night. And one day I'm like, bro, shot, shot, declare, shot, not shot, declare, shot, not. And I was talking to like one of my best friends, my best friend, uh, I was talking to Jack Harlow. And I was like, man, yeah, I think I'm gonna declare, bro. Like, I don't know, but I'm leaving in God's hands and whatever happened, happened. And he looked me in the eyes and he's like, when you focus, can't nobody fuck with you. Thanks. And he looked me in my eyes and told me that. And it was like some, a light bulb went off in my head, some snap, like, damn, like somebody else, some, this is not you telling yourself this, this is another human being. Yep. Realest dude I know. So he's going to be honest with me. Realest dude I know. Another human being telling me, when when I'm focused, nobody can fuck with me. Yep. So that just, something turned on in my mind. So from that point, um, I didn't like, everybody was just in my way. Yeah. For real. You like, locked in. It was me versus me and everybody else in my mind was fooled. Yep. And it was like something came over me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything that everything I had went through, it was like it was pre it had prepped me for this moment. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't see nobody yep. but myself. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I go crazy um with the pre draft stuff, all the interviews, all the workouts, this, that, and the third, go crazy on pro day at like a top ten pro day in the nation. Yeah, um, how do you not with those so, numbers? Yeah. yeah. So now right. I'm, I'm like, like you guys, I'm like, like you said, day one I came in, bro. Like, I I was just telling them I was feeding myself, like way before I got there. Like, when I'm locked in, nobody's with me. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's Henry Ruggs, I don't care if it's um, whoever. You know yep. what I'm saying? Whoever I knew was gonna be there. I don't care if it's Darren Waller. I don't care if it's Jalen Ramsey, like, you know, yeah. I'm thinking crazy, but that's how I felt. They got to see you. Got that's how it. I felt. They yeah. have to see me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. by the time I got there, couldn't nobody tell me shit. Yep. GM mm -hmm. couldn't tell me shit. Coaches couldn't tell me shit. Max, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to listen, but he couldn't tell me shit. <laughs> Just <laughs> Real life, yeah. respectfully. No, yeah. for sure. So not, for it's crazy because when I got there, like the second day in the summer, I'm in the weight room and I'm working out <laughs> and uh, Mike Mayock walks up to me. He's like, um, yeah, man, like he working out and shit. And I'm, you know, I'm about to stop. You know, I'm about to be over with my workout, doing my workout. He's like, um, yeah, man, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm good, uh, coach. I, I pre, cause he was more like a coach than a GM. Yeah, yeah. he like, was around. Super cool dude around. Yeah. So. I'm calling him coaching one night. I'm like, man, I appreciate you like for just giving me this opportunity, man. Like you won't regret it. It's down the third. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do for this team. It doesn't matter what I gotta play. I'm, I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. And he was like, oh yeah. Um, while we on that subject, um, we think you're gonna be a good, a good defensive player in the future. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm just listening to him, like, where is he getting at? You know what I'm saying? Like, we think, yeah, we think we're gonna, you're gonna be a good uh, defensive player for us in the future and you're gonna come along, but we don't think you're ready for that right now. Uh, we want you to be the best special team player in the conference. So I'm like, all right, like, I'm like, okay, like, I'm, you know, smiling in his face, like, yes, sir, like, I got you. I, I just told y'all what I said, mm -hmm. though, in my mind, I'm, I don't give a what nobody's talking mm -hmm. about. When I get on this field, mm -hmm. I'm about to show like it's I'm gonna make it undeniable. Yeah. I don't care mm -hmm. if can't nobody but Jesus tell me shit. Yeah. At this point. Real talk. <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. And when I got on the field, I, I just did the best of my ability to stand on that. Yeah. So, you started control you started locking in on the shit you can yeah. control and not worry about all that. Yeah, other it, it stuff. was just crazy to me that the GM himself is telling me like, yeah, you're not gonna play this year. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I I was on a whole nother time. Yeah. Know, tripping. No, that's just real, bro. I could I I can go on and on. This it sounds so similar to where mentally when I came to the league, that's how I felt. It was the same with the draft process, bro. Like every human being around me and they they seen it. Like 
everyone, including all my coaches, were like, go back to school. Yeah. Go back to school. And I'm like, that. Yeah. Like, I've done everything I I could possibly do here. Mm -hmm. The nutrition ain't getting better. I ain't going to gain a bunch of weight. I can come back and set every know. record or I can go now. And it's crazy how God works. But the next year crazy. was COVID year. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to go to the combine. And nope. I knew hey, what I'll I would have done at the combine. So I was just like, get in my agent. He's in the other room. But, I mean, him and Rachel were the only two that were like, do it. They were mm -hmm. fully on board. Go do it. And everybody, including my family, like I love them to death. But my yeah. dad and all that, they were like, no, I think you need to go back. My mom, too. My mom was like, just do what you. My mom's always been that way. She's like, go do you. Be yeah. you. You're the best. Go do you. I'm like, all right, but So I went yeah. to the league. And I knew at that point, I was like, I declared. And I'm like, F it. I'm tunnel vision. I'm going to go to the combine. I'm going to the combine up and just take it one step at a time. And that's really what it was. It's and I knew. They told me I was going to be four to seven. And I was like. After the combine, I'll be a top 100 pick. Yeah. And I was close. But still, it was like, I had, the, I had the same type of mentality. I'm like, I don't give a f who's drafted. I don't give a f who the lineman you put in front of me. They're going to have to feel me every day. Yeah. And that, like you said, you got to make it undeniable and stand out. That's what a lot of these rookies. I just talked to a bunch of them uh, a couple of days ago. But, I mean, that's that's what comes down to it. They're like asking me, how, do you, how did you stand out when you first got here? I told them you were, and ironically, you were walking in the background. You remember I was sitting there and there was a bunch of rookies. It was two days ago. And I literally pointed to you as you were walking by. I said, this is how you do it. I said, you see who, who else is here right now? I said, it's me. You, st you happen to walk in the background. See, see that right there? So he's the best nickel in football, period. And I said, he's here by himself doing whatever the f he's doing. I swear to God. And that's what it's about. At the end of the day, you got to out... It's not just outperform everybody. You got to outperform yourself. Yeah, well, if that makes any sense, it's, well, it's an internal battle. Every day. At the end of the day, there's so much outside bullshit, and coaches are going to tell you this is. They try to put a ceiling on you from day one. That's all the combine is. You go into every meeting, and they tell you everything you do bad. They don't say one thing about what you're good at. You know what I mean? I can't tell you how many coaches. Wow, you're too skinny. It's going to take you a few years. You're going to be on special teams. I over and over and over again, I, and it pissed me off so much. I'm like, I'm going to prove everybody wrong and rich is another one rich was one of the biggest advocates because mayock did the same shit he lit a fire in me the same way and i don't know if he did that on purpose because he did it to he you probably, too bro, he did the same shit to me for real. bro Might he was strategic. like he no i swear to god he was like yeah we don't have any um dynamic playmakers on defense and i'm leading the team in sacks my first two years i'm like crazy. Fuck you crazy I, you just watch That's it crazy, but I, I appreciated him looking back i'm, I'm like you. he really lit a fire in me because like, i wanted to like every day, I let that shit motivate me, bro. But yeah, a whole nother fire, bro. bro I'm telling you, it's especially crazy. when you, you're told it, you can't it's, do. You it's can't just do something. crazy, bro. Like right. that's a testament. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a like just to everybody watching. That's a testament to what you could do when you and your heart believe in yourself. Yeah. Like when you say, when you make up your mind about whatever you want to do or whatever you striving for, and you say. I'm not about to let nobody tell me shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I, I know what I could do. I know what I've been through. I know what I'm capable of. And I know if I be consistent every single day and, and, and what I know and what I can control, I, I'm not about to let anybody else um, limit me. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you said, they're going to try to put a roof on you. Yeah. And it's up to you yeah. if you're going to let them put that roof on you. 100%. Like Nipsey said, would you? Would you want other people to judge you or would you rather judge yourself? Facts. Real shit. It's like yeah, controlling real. the uncontrollables. Yeah. Control what you real shit. what you can. That's why I try to live by like I wanna I, I wanna define myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm self defined. I'm not finna let nobody else put that little, you know, put that in the air for me and me. Be like, man, damn, they right. Yeah. <laughs> For real, bro. 100%. That shit's crazy. Just because they don't believe in themselves or just because they don't think they can do it doesn't mean you, know, yeah. you can't pull it off or you don't have that intrinsic belief in yourself to be like, it, that's really the half the battle. That's why I've, at least I've seen with Max, like obviously you could say he got cleaned up, sober, and that all helped. But I, it's really the mentality shift that I think like with him specifically um, where it's like I'm no one can stop me. It's me versus me, like you said, and that just propelled – and you see that with everybody. You see with all the greats. It's literally just, it's not about what the other person's doing yeah. or what the other team's doing. It's literally like, if I'm on my shit, it don't matter what anybody's doing. I'm going to 
I'm going to kill him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It does not matter. I'm going to knock him off one by one. And I remember, I still to this day, I do the same thing. Screenshot everything, see everything. And I was just talking to Tim Grover, Kobe uh, Kobe and Jordan's trainer. We worked together. I talked to him all the time. But he he said the same thing. I'm asking him, I'm like, do you think, I was like, what what was Kobe like? What was Jordan like when it came to like the media shit? Because I feel like every off season, you know, you have certain fans and you see certain shit and you just like, you want to play a game right now. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And you let that shit motivate you. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what What were they like when it came to that? And he was like, Kobe read everything. Everything. Every media, every outlet, everything. He's used it as fuel. Every single game. Some people don't like that shit. Sure. He said Jordan didn't give a fuck. He <laughs> said Jordan didn't do nothing. He sat in his room, smoked his cigars, and lived in his own world. Yeah, he moved to the beat He didn't give world. a fuck. But he said Kobe, he read everything. And he just let it be fuel. He read every news clipping, everything. He would text reporters. He, Stephen A. Smith talked about it. Yeah. He's like, Stephen A. Smith, he would go up and say some shit after a game. And he, he would text uh, Stephen A. and be like, he'd be like, stupid. He was like, you don't know what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. And explain the whole situation of why he did this into a certain situation and all certain shit like that. And like, I feel like it's every person's different. I don't know your exact mentality when it comes to that outside noise and shit like that. But for me, like, I just let it be fuel. Like, I love when I'm told you can't do something or this guy's better than me. I'm like, watch. I'm going I'm to watch every move he does and I'm going to make sure I outperform this at every, in all costs, at all times. Mm-hmm. And it, everybody ticks in a different way, but for like me, you said, it's all internal, bro. For yeah. me, it's like, I, I don't really pay attention to it because this that's not what got me here. Yeah. Uh, you feel me? Like, that's not what got me here. That's not why. You know what I'm saying? I performed at a certain level. So, so I'm going to do what got me here. And on top of all that, you're not about to say this to my face. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> not going to say this to my facts. face. Face yeah. to face, man. And man, I, I know that much. Yep. So I don't be tripping off of it. I'll laugh at it, if yeah. anything. Yep. Yeah. No, so, I think, it, I, I do think, I find pure joy in it. I find like, pure joy in it. I like, love when I see that <laughs> shit. I'm like, like, they must not. They they must have not learned. It's more about proving yourself. Right. I'm like, Bro, here we go. I'm gonna have to I, do it again. And you keep posted. Showing. You posted the the picture. Ask name anything. Which I don't know who chose that picture, but we got beef. What picture? <laughs> the, that, the, oh, the, the, the picture the of you on the rust pot. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably him back there. Oh. Ever, bro. <laughs> yeah, Roach That's is like I'm out. It wasn't him. <laughs> that was the worst picture. You don't ever. like that one? <laughs> Come on, Come on, bro. Anyways, that's on playmaker. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, pointing fingers over oh, here. They like uh, you put on there. Ask me anything. Somebody in the comments said, "Why does he get burned every play?" <laughs> like trolling. Of course, trolling. of course. Yes. I, I, I promise you, I like you. I swear, I like. Yep. You. I <laughs> yeah. Just laugh that. I said, "Damn." Bitch. That's yeah. funny. It's more yeah. about proving yourself right though than anything. Not even proving people wrong. It's like. I'm just hey, gonna keep proving myself right. I know myself I belong. Right. You have yeah. to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you if you if you live by it, you're gonna die by it. So when they praising you, if you if that if if you live for that and that gives you hype, like oh my gosh, like they like me. Yeah. They gonna kill you that way too. One hundred percent. Yeah. You gonna die by that. Yep. You know no, that's what I'm saying? All this uh, basketball talk. So you said you checked out the Devonte episode. And if you guys are tuning in, you haven't seen that episode, go up, but go back and watch that. Um, but Max and Devontae both put you on their starting five for the hoops on the Raiders. Real. So my question to you, real one, <laughs> my question for you, can more NBA guys play in the NFL or can more NFL guys play in the NBA? I'm sure you saw Austin Rivers just talk about this this week. Just talking. Just talking. He was just, he was just talking. For real, like, but... That's a hard one. It is because it's it's they can't even bench one thirty five. So though. look, but it's, I don't think it's any what it is. The league can really play in this NBA is what it either. is, bro. This is what it is. Yeah. The NBA players are they athletic enough to go play something like receiver, tight end? Absolutely. Are they tough enough? Do they got the mental fortitude for it? Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Like, I get I get I get pissed off every every basketball game I watch. I get mad. Cause somebody during the course of that game gets fouled, and they lay there, and they lay there, bro. Yeah. Every time, yeah. yeah. Like and then they look at the camera, like you feel me? They doing all the most. 
and LeBron. they do all of that for 30 seconds and, and then don't and, bring LeBron into this and then get up LeBron do it the most yes. don't say that <laughs> yes. LeBron does it the most Max. but is he the greatest and they get up yes. and then yeah. drop 30 after that yeah. like you would just <laughs> you bye <laughs> You were just acting it's hurt. It's like they're doing bah. it to try to look like To get attention, top. bro. Yeah, yeah they, They're doing it for attention. Yeah. So it's he's like. He's playing yes. through all this. It's I'm like, like, bro, he got touched on the top like, of his forehead. He's bro, playing. it's like. They hurt. And I, and I saw Ryan Clark saying this, too. Like, he was like, <laughs> see. put put a 6'7", a 6'6", a six, 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 one, uh, yeah. or one put, a, put a six six two two oh five 5 dude out there if you want to. I'm going to saw his ass in half. Yeah. Time. <laughs> I promise you he's not coming home. No. I promise you that. Facts. They think getting hit in their forehead's I tough? I promise you. <sighs> no, that's fine. Like, no, you're fact. not, you're not, like, you're not cut like that. No. Not no. for a whole, not for a whole game. Not no. Even, a whole season? Come on, Brody. No. But I think, not. I do think it's a lot of guys. I ain't going to say a whole lot. I think <laughs> it's a certain selection of guys, um. On on that football field, who could go play basketball? Yeah, for sure. Like and like, uh, and they of course they're not going to average twenty five and ten. Yeah. They might not even average fifteen and seven. No. but they can they can play and they can compete. Yeah, they will compete out there. It's not they're not going to be a liability. No, yeah. for sure. go out there and put Draymond numbers up. Yeah, Fox, triple singles. Yeah, yeah. two, ten, ten. Hell yeah. He said two, ten. Triple ten. single. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two, seven, and four, but fuck yeah. it. Yeah. We're out there making a difference. What's it, I been, agree with that. what's it been like in practice just being able to, obviously, games, you've proven yourself. I mean, you're climbing. I feel like you're climbing charts on uh, being one of the best corners in the game. He's had one of the best nickels in the game, the best. Um, what's it been like, though, in practice being able to go against Devontae, going against Jacoby, just iron sharpens iron? Bro, them. <laughs> just I, you know, that's why he's sign. laughing because, like, I can't ask for better competition. Yeah, I can't ask to go against better receivers. And for on top of the skill, that mindset, that dog, yes. bro. Like Devontae and Jacoby, bro. They like they dudes who could go play basketball. In my opinion, mm -hmm. like skill wise, like really, like. Yeah. They move like on as a receiver on the line. They move yep. like they they out there on the court Crossing trying to you cross up. you over. But that football, that, that this is why they football players. They could be a basketball player if they mm -hmm. wanted to. They chose that route. But that mental fortitude, you know what I'm saying? That yep. dog is why they football players. And I can't ask for any better competition and, and preparation for the game. Yep, because they different. Different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never saw. I know one person I've lined up against as quick as Devontae Adams in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, I, I train with a dude named Rondell Moore. You probably know. We were just we were talking just about talking about, about him. him quick as quick as <laughs> lightning. Bro. Quick as hell, but like we from we both from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Other than that, bro, I, bro, I remember I was watching film one time. <laughs> I was watching a one on one clip. <laughs> And I said, let me try something. <laughs> Pause the, I'm going against Tay. Pause the, um, the clip. All right, I'm about to time it. Unpaused it. I blinked. I swear, I swear on my life. I blinked and he was out of his release. <laughs> he was like this. Like, bro, as quick as that, bro. It's like my boy Fish said it best. Uh, Meek Robertson. Yeah. He like, son, son, son. You line up against him, son. And it's like, uh-uh, ball. Yeah. Like, bro, is that quick? Like, yes. Best release in the game. Play start, uh uh, ball. Like, you like, damn, what the? This yeah. got the ball? What the hell is going on? So, and yep. then, you know, Kobe, Kobe he got he got it all. Yep. He got nice, that speed bro. release. He got hands. He got run out the catch. Fearless. Fearless. Run yep. out the catch. Releases is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, another dude on our team, he's like, up and coming, Trey. Trey. Yeah. What? Speed. What? Is he like a mini Tyreek? No. He's baby Reek. He, baby yes. Reek. Yes. And Tony. you know, people, people will be like, you know, oh, like what's supposed to be you hype. You won't go against him every day. Mm -hmm. And I went against the best. Yep. That boy, like, if if he can master the art of, um, the the art of 
Like it's a field. Yeah. Like the like, like if you want a master plan receiver, it's it's the field and, and the art of like creating angles, mm-hmm. cutting yeah. off cutting off leverage and angles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, cause Tay has it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Taking it's like you can blindfold Tay, and he'll feel where you at. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll have a he'll have a a, a set rep or release. He posts an inside release you, mm-hmm. but mere rep, he'll he'll all right, cool. He's playing, he's overplaying the inside. Yep. He can switch it mere rep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, and then stack and, it and, and, and stack your ass yeah. and, and still gonna make the the catch and catch that mug <laughs> with his eyes closed. <laughs> Literally real. though, and, and yeah. I compare it all the time. I told him like, I compare it to Steph Curry. You know, like you know how like at this point in his career, you can blindfold Steph. He just has a feel for it. Yeah. Once he knows where the rim is, bro, he only got to look. You just throw Every it time up. he turns around I mean, while the ball's in the air, just throw it up. You know what I'm saying? Because he has that feel. And Tay has that feel also. Yep. So if Jacoby could get that feel down for like angles, leverage, it's over with. Over with. It's over with. Who's the hardest dude you've had to cover so far in the NFL, in your opinion? There's so many different dudes in the league that are good at so many different things. Yeah. Like top of the route releases it's it, it's it's dudes you can lock their ass up the whole route and they're just gonna come down with the ball mm-hmm. yeah. you know what i'm saying yes but if i had to narrow it down to one I, that boy keenan allen pretty cold keenan allen's cold like going against him on the regular he's been hurt a couple times yeah yeah yeah, yeah bro yeah. yeah like he's he has that feel also yeah, that yeah. professional feel like this is what I do, yep. and I could do it in my sleep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, so right now, I, it's Keenan. I, I I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but I'll come back. To yeah, you. Come back Keenan, to you. while looking like French Montana, just routing people up. <laughs> and to me, for Duncan. me, if you don't, if you don't got technique or like if you don't got wiggle, yeah, it's over. You, I I love going against an athlete because. Yeah, I can do, you know, I yeah, get what I I can run, that. I can jump, I'm quick, I can get out my cuts, I can do whatever. But like a technician yes. or a dude got real deceptive wiggle, like you don't know where he's gonna go in this split second decision. Yep. I mean, those are the worst. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> you, you can just see when guys make it look easy, that's when you know. You know what I mean? A guy like Tay, it looks Whoa. so effortless. It looks like, he's out there just dancing. He looks you know like he's I mean? in slow-mo. Keenan Allen's it's, the same way. He looks dance, like he's not man. even breaking a sweat. It's a dance. It's a dance. It's a big old dance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> For real, bro. Real shit, though. I love it. That's real. Yeah. yeah that's no, that's dope. Yeah. You want to hit a Mount Rush on him? Yeah, before that, I want you to name Damn. your starting five. Damn. Your starting five the basketball team. team. Yeah. yeah. We got to get it from Nate. And what? Basketball. Mm. One through five. Football. On our team. Oh. Who's our oh, who's your basketball starting uh, lineup yeah, on the team? Alright. <laughs> um me, of course. Point guard? Yeah, I go point. I go point. Okay. Um <laughs> Cole. Yeah. Jacoby at two. I like that little size, top of seven. Tay at three, two. They they are rotate. Yeah, two yeah. and three, whatever. It's like Kawhi, PG that those thing. don't matter. Two and three, no, don't yeah, matter. They don't. Interchangeable. Uh, Max. The four ski at the four. four. I like that. You gonna play the four and the five though? You gonna play eleven? Based on rotation. I'm with that. Based on you know you know we talk small ball six, lineup. Seven. I could yeah. be five. Yeah. 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 Damn, who's five? We lost Josh. We lost to me. We did, bro. Makes it a little tougher. Damn. Tay Tay hit us with cold fathering him. Wow. <laughs> yeah, random as fuck. <laughs> wow. He said, but wow. he was like, wow. he's like, bro, I know you'll never guess this dude or say it. He's like, gang, I, but he's I, smooth. I, gang, I can see that though. <laughs> he's smooth. He be on scout team, so hey, bro. Baby Kelsey. First of all, whenever, <laughs> Baby Kelsey. whenever we playing the Chiefs, bro. It's like something come up out of him. Like, bro. it's like, they be like, hey, we playing the Chiefs this weekend, this weekend. 
If you give us this look, we got an extra five hundred thousand. <laughs> I swear, bro, it's like they say that because he catches everything that week. Everything. Like, we got an incentive for you for practice. <laughs> Real talk. But damn, that's a nice look. Yeah. That's a nice. Look. I ain't finna spend all day on this. So I, I, I only ever hoop with because everybody's gone. Like everybody we used to hoop with is gone. So the only person I ever hoop with. Yeah. Who was these? Just athletic, Sam. You Sam wouldn't even guess. Okay. Sam, he's valuable. So, and I can't think of anybody. So I'm gonna go. Sam. Okay, <laughs> Sam Webb. He's valuable. Yeah, he's valuable. He's 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 a tall six corner. Six two, six three, but yeah, he's a tall ass corner. He nah, like he gonna it. be the five, but he he could like that's what I'm saying. He's athletic as shit, strong as an ox, yeah. so he can match up with a four just because he yep. can jump, yeah. run strong, like Jonathan Kaminga. What a name. <laughs> Think about it. Who's Undersized, up, but up there. I mean, it's same. I, Nate, Kobe, Tay, me. And the fourth one, it was, when we had this debate before, it was a meek at guard. Yeah. You and a meek, but we were debating with Josh. You remember meek, Josh? Not here no more. I know, so they're gone. So you got to name, name that sport. I, mean, I, just, I just think of having another big man. I don't know who can be the big man. Cause like obviously I'm gonna be one of the I'll be a four or five, mm-hmm. but I just can't think of another like Tyree cannot play. Nah, no, hell no, nah. hell no, too stiff. No, he's <laughs> too stiff. <laughs> no, no chance. But you need a you he's need gonna a, fall and Lyman really himself. can't hoop. You need to get like I, a tight end. I just feel like, bro. I, if I'm being honest with you, bro, I feel no, like hell no, hell. No. I feel like I feel like we no. got Max, bro. And then with the amount of athleticism and we, skill we have, we just go for we'll be guards. fine. Small with, ball, bro. We'll be fine. Yeah, small ball. Small ball. We'll, we'll be anybody. Anybody on that on that team, bro. Like six, 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 seven, and under that can match up with. Yeah, I'm just keep the buck. I wonder if Mayor can play, Mike Mayer. Maybe. Maybe. I I give him. I, I thought you know. said hell no. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's my initial reaction when I said I don't know. <laughs> he could be. I'm trying. But I don't know. I I would. Max like no. I'm the only white guy allowed here. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't have two white big men. Bro, when I see no, then you, you're bro, you're bro. When I when I seen you like, but I knew you was gonna be good. You know what I'm saying, but. He was point four. Yeah. I'm like, bro, why would you pull him from 35? <laughs> Pulling. Why? He loves Pulling. floaters too. Why His floater package. Floater package hey, elite, bro. bro. Why are you bring the ball up the court and you a DN? Because he watches too much of <laughs> nah, Jokic. Nah, no. Let's go here. Let's take it there. <laughs> why are you hitting Derrick Rose body control? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Acrobat. You know what I'm saying? Yes. In the paint. And you That's your favorite athlete, six, right? D Rose. Yeah, we're about to dab. Yeah, yeah. That was a good dab. That was a good dab. How you knew that? Research. Real. You D-Rose. know what I mean? I could I, I stalking your page. No, but, I, that, but D Rose makes a favorite, lot more sense. Favorite player all the time. I thought I was D Rose. Period. He plays like that, though. I believe it. I he tries to dunk on me, but yeah. it doesn't work. But right. still. What a camera. He, <laughs> what a camera. <laughs> Pick any of them. Lord the, Jesus Christ Himself. <laughs> the first time I tried to dunk on that man, he came and, and tipped the ball a little bit so it didn't flush on his head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It didn't go through the net. He was, so it was a block. But no, yeah. what? It went through the net. No. Nah. Okay. What's up? <laughs> but it was a block. You didn't touch the ball. You just said I touched the ball. Jesus Christ did. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he tipped so the Jesus ball a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Jesus tipped Jesus, it from up Jesus. top. I promise you, That's a good you, argument. Bro, I can't argue with Jesus. Ball, I, he didn't, <laughs> you lose. You lose. He didn't touch time. the ball, bro. Fast break. Mm, cock it back to my foot like the scorpion. <laughs> yes. He I'm, tried to really punch it. Yeah, I did. I tried to punch it. Yeah. Boom, flushed out second time. He sent my shit to the stand. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Max Crosby though. Damn it. I'm six foot. I, I, no, that's that's what I respect. He did it at least three, four no times. No fear. Even yeah. at the crib. He tried to dunk on me as hard as he can. He's, he tries to catch me lacking. Most people don't even try though. No. So that's why I gotta respect yeah, it. Yeah, and no, he's a I, I, guy. I'm gonna be real with you though. I, I, 
I've just I dunked on too many people before. <laughs> For real, like I know, I like it. I know, like if you're not jumping, yeah, I'm gonna flush it on your head. From all those D Rose highlights, you're like, right, yes, let me try this. Absolutely, yes. D-Rose. Same with like Russell Westbrook. Yeah, oh he used to come God. down there and punch yes. stupid people's heads, bro. Yeah. Yes. D Rose on Dragic, the two hand one. Where he's like floating, bro. That shit was. I got a, I got a disgusting. couple of videos in my phone. I, like, let me just. On punch somebody's punch head. Him. Nuts on head. <laughs> Fact. Real the air is different up there. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's hard to breathe. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> got a nosebleed. It's like Denver. What is it? Mile uh-huh. High Stadium. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 5,280. Don't blame me, man. Level. Exactly. Shout out God. Shout yeah. out God. Shout out to Jesus. <laughs> Other than the hoop game in the off season that you're probably still working on, what is one thing from last season that you're focusing on the off season to get better looking like just for next year? Uh, my awareness. Um, you know what I mean when I say awareness, like my my field awareness about where the defense, I mean where the offense is uh, on the field. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether they in the red area, the fringe, yep. we call the fringe, like from the fifty on yep. up. Um, um, they backed up and what they do because offenses if they have success. They they gonna do it over and over and Tennessee's over again. For sure, and right. I, I've I've played too much ball at this level to um to to know that they not gonna switch up what they they might switch up a route, you know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. like the hash they do it on some yeah, or the formation. Small shit like that, but they gonna do the same thing and just trust that. Um mm-hmm. also um my my pad level. Sometimes okay. I Get a little high. My pad level in my eyes. Okay. I get a little high or I won't be laser focused with my eyes in the right spot. And that cost me plays. Yeah. Literally cost me picks. Uh missed out on about probably three, four picks last year. Okay. Cause my eyes weren't where they needed to be. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So. What's the goal this year? You got any how many picks you want or you got any of that in your mind? I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not I'm I'm not like a Big um stat guy right. like for the C line my six picks yep. and all. Yeah. But shout out Max, bro. Like I mean a lot coming from you. You know what I'm saying? Saying I'm the top nigga in the game because um it's Max. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's like the epitome of, of a defensive end right now. You 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 interview somebody, um you interview a young player, a young D lineman for that sort, mm-hmm. college, NFL, who who do you want to play like? Who do you study? Are you going to say TJ Watt, him, or Miles Garrett yep. or Michael Parsons? Most people going to say him, though, because he's different with that motor. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's just a top, to me, top 10 guy in the league. Yes. No questions asked. Top 10 player, regardless of uh, position. Appreciate but you, so from coming from him, him to say that about me, bro, it's it's wild. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So and when you bro, get I'm it, I'm not from just saying that shit either, bro. I truly believe it. From cover, ju- not from just a covering standpoint, but I think what separates you is you're the best tackler, damn near on the mm-hmm. field at mm-hmm. all times. Yeah, I think that's what separates you: your ability to blitz and make plays in the backfield. And also make plays on the perimeter tackling, like the Miami play we just watched last week. Runs through a blocker, tackles Tyreek on the goal line, like fourth and one. Mm. Do you know how many how hard it is to tackle Tyreek Hill alone, but also in open space with someone trying to block you at the same time? Fourth and one, gotta get a stop. Like that's damn near impossible. Yes. He makes that shit happen often. Often. Yes. Years ago. Period. I mean, because you can see it, bro. You can see it. I mean, the world to me, though, bro. Like that shit right there. Like it just get like, like. Of course, I got my confidence or whatever, you know, about myself. But like, when somebody like him tells you that, yeah, it's like, damn, I'm actually out here doing. I'm doing this shit for real in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not just like I said, me just telling myself this. Like, appear. That I hold opinion valuable, you know, in high regard, who do who's doing everything damn near. Like I'm 
calling it right now. He's a gold jacket. I don't go <laughs> what nobody say. It's yeah. a gold jacket. Yeah, to tell me that, bro, I'm like, that shit, that shit just makes me, he know me. Shit just makes me want to go harder. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm give 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 him and everybody else, all my teammates, everything I got. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just so fortunate to be in this position, bro. Like, like I said, I don't know anybody who's ever made it this far. Where I'm from. Right. I didn't have no like when I when I was NFL football to me, when I was about 10 years old, it was equivalent to a cartoon. It's on TV. Something you just saw on TV. On yeah. TV, that shit That's ain't real, real though. Like, yeah. I ain't never gonna see that shit. Like, yep. I ain't never gonna get my hands on it. But you know, it's it's cool. Like, it's, yep. I can imagine all I want, and I'm here. Yep. And then on top of that, I got people, you know, respecting my game. That yeah. shit just makes it means the world to me, bro. We talk about this all the time. It it means more when it comes from your teammate, your brother, someone you that knows what you put in day in and day out, and yeah. who also is in that competitive nature. Like I'd rather my my boy on the team tell me you're f- nice as opposed to me hearing it from Stephen A or me reading some article yeah. and someone that really don't yeah, doesn't yeah. know just give me my flowers like yeah, yeah. when that when someone tells me I'm nice on the team or that shares that feel with me okay I know that now I'm cooking you know what I mean that's, that's all that matters ultimate respect that's all that matters at the end of the day like you know at at you watch your game you watch your film more than anybody on the planet yep. your own film period I watch my own film religiously. So I don't need approval from other people. Mm -hmm. That's the thing when I talk about, I read and see everything, all the good things, I could get a hundred million good things a day. Max is this guy is a man, blah, blah. I could, I brush over and don't give a the one thing, the negative is the one that sticks with me more than anything. Cause that's how I'm wired. You know what I mean? Cause I'm constantly looking for something to get me going. Yeah. And I remember when I was young in the league, especially like you, like you're going into your fourth year, bro. You're, you have everything on the table right now. Brother, you put, you wouldn't even have to say, but you know what it is. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, the higher, the better and better you get and the higher you go in this league as you're starting to do and continue to go, like it, the more and more lonely it becomes because that's the expectation. You're supposed to be the best. Yeah. It's not like, Uh good shit, Nate. Remember when you were in preseason? Nate is the man. He's fucking cold. He's a good play. That's how I used to feel like. Yeah, they fuck with me, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. the higher you go, that's just the expectation is I'm supposed to yes. dominate every that I step in front of. And that, like, period. And, people, and I don't get comp people like, do not know how much how much pressure that is. All the time. Yeah. Like and it's all not the about the pressure, you know what I'm saying? No. It pressure is all in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Like Nipsey said, like I'm feeling all this pressure, but it's all in my mind. So it's it's never really pressure. Mm-hmm. It's about how you look at this shit. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, <laughs> it, it bro, it's a lot of pressure to do what you've been doing day in and day out because they expect you to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I heard some shit. Uh, it was some shit like about a fifth time. If you do something five times. It becomes an expectation. Yeah. You do something four to five times for someone, to someone, in front of someone, you know what I'm saying? In the in yeah. the same given um situation, yeah. it's it becomes an expectation. Yeah. So it's it's you feel me, it's a lot that come with that and this man handle it like like cake. You know? Yeah. Like I ain't like I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> nah, like it, it's amazing to see. Like I know I, I know it. I'm watching greatness. Yeah. And I respect that, bro. And it don't do nothing but fuel me though. You know what I'm saying? Like it just makes me want to be like, like what a, what an amazing opportunity I got here with. Yep. Like arguably, like again, I'm gonna go in and say that. He gonna be when this shit's done, he gonna be arguably one of the best writers Thanks. to touch that field. Uh I wholeheartedly believe it. So. Yeah, yeah. Likewise. No, that's real. And that expectation shit is is not just Sundays mm-hmm. is everything in between. That's what it is for me. I, and you mm-hmm. talked about it doing it four to five times. That's your expectation. For me, it's being there at six in the morning, yeah. being the last to leave, being, you know, attentive in the meeting, being the one to ask questions every single day. It's, it's the littlest shit that I look at is like, that's what I gets me going. And like, that's the pressure I have in my, my daily basis. Like, all right, am I, I'll work in this 
all right, is Christian doing this? All right, I need to be, you know what I mean? It's like, that's, that's how mine, my mind works. You know what yeah. I mean? I want to be the, the one dude that they say is, you can't, if you could say a million things about me, but at the end of the day, that the hardest work I've ever met and that cares more. You know what I mean? Like, that's all that matters to me. Yeah. I don't go about the all pro, all that's just a by, byproduct of what I do. But 99% of the process is the shit I do every single day. They know they're around me every day. You're around me every day. Like, that's the shit that means the most. None of that shit comes unless I do X, Y, and Z every single day. And yeah. that's like, that's the pressure because if I show up, if I miss a day or if I'm late to a meeting, I don't remember, I don't remember the last time I'm missed late. None, yeah. none of that. That's the pressure is that's Standard. my expectation. Yeah. And now, but it's in the meetings. Max, this Max hard, works as fast. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the expectation. So I got to be on all the time. Yeah. All, the time. all the time and that's the real pressure you say all it's like cake but in my head i'm like i know here we go God, I, I get round, round I know, right bro. back to it 5 30 in the morning it's I'm crazy like, here we go yeah. we're Good. doing this shit again but like then you 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 say i say it out loud and it sounds like a lot but then i always revert back to square one and i just go back to my perspective i'm lucky to be doing this yes bro. if i would back I'm in my day you, when bro. i was wild as doing my shit you've been through shit i could have been in trouble a million times i could have wrecked my car 10 million times i could have done this this and this now i'm literally i have the opportunity to change not only everybody that i'm with every day but millions of people watching me yeah. and really impact lives and you talk about these like young guys coming to the league and i just seen a video of josh allen from the jags talking about who do you like to watch and he's saying the same shit I, max like that that means more more to me than anything you know what i mean and so everybody has their way of ticking but that's the real pressure yep and in pressure like you said it doesn't exist the only pressure that exists is the if is if you let that mind. shit get into your mind pressure you know what i mean if i'm worried about all right is max is nate making yeah. a play on third down when it's a 50 50 ball is that real pressure no you've done it a hundred million times mm -hmm. you've done a million one-on-ones you've matched it's up about, you already know but if you create it and make it bigger than it is it's about living Man, in the moment, bro. That's it. It's Just about being, where being feet in are. the moment. And like, yep. like you, like if you prepare, like I remember Spirit telling me this shit too, because like at some point in time, bro, when you put the work in, you prepared your ass off for this shit, you gotta let that pressure go, bro. Yeah. Like it, it, you have to, you literally, you gotta let it go. Yeah. Cause what the f are you doing this for? Yeah. What are you doing it for to, to, to put all this work in, to work your ass off? To and, psych yourself out, basically. You know what I'm saying? Do do everything that you work for just to carry the pressure, you know, I don't know, and overthink about it. Like, yeah. But let that shit handle itself, bro. Yeah. Like, you have this, no shit, control of that this shit. shit's already written. Yeah, facts. Whatever, <laughs> this shit's already written. That's real. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen anyway, bro. Yep. Yeah. I like to live by the motto, excuse my language. No, you don't ever I'm, apologize. Ain't know me like again. Like I'm, 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 I'm the type. Yeah, yeah. like lazy yeah. shit. You feel me? Like I only live once. Yep. And if, if it ain't gonna kill me, it ain't gonna get me in trouble. If it's not gonna, you know, what I'm saying hurt my career, hurt my family. I'm trying to try it. Yep. Facts. See Facts. what I'm saying? Like yep. for real, like, like family, like oh, I. I I get the spar max. Oh, he's six six. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Quick as f redheaded step stepchild. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ugly as shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a concern. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like no, fact I'm though. Because I get to say I did that shit. Yeah. What if I win? One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? What if I win? No, that's, that's for so sure. Real. Why not me? That's so weird. Yeah. What's your expectation for this for the defense on you know that unit? You know, Building on top of what you guys did last year, especially the second half of the season, you guys were top three defense, if not one. Like, how do you continue? What's the expectation? And just continue to build off of that. It might sound cliche, bro, but it's the truth, bro. We we could take this as we could take this shit as high as we want to. Mm -hmm. Like the the sky is the limit mm -hmm. for us, real talk. Because it boils down to. I, and I, I ain't saying this just to say it. This is real. This is real shit. I got legit faith in every person on our defense that they can win their one-on-one matchup 
at any time in the game. Yep. Mm-hmm. Any play with anybody in the NFL. I've seen it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I've seen everybody on that starting defense. Yep. Make a play against the best. So called the best. You know what I'm saying? Or they top five, whatever the, they highly ranked or you know, highly regarded amongst their position group. And I've saw every defender on our team, um, you know what I'm saying, who starts. Yeah. Even the backup. But mainly who starts win that matchup mm-hmm. when we need it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And then I, I saw most of us do it at a high level consistently. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So whether it's Max, um, and we got so many players on our team, bro, that's that that's they might not be a household name, but the people in the, in the league, they know them. 100 percent They know them. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they a playmaker. A yeah. real one, like mm-hmm. the Jack Joneses. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Boy. <laughs> Player. Player. Yes, bro. Like different. different. Like can, when his one on one matchup with anybody at any given time. Mm-hmm. Brandon Face on. That's my dog. Bro, my my my, my, my rookie year, bro. Yeah. She was doing like he was locking shit. People just don't know that. That's like they I was just thirty thirty uh five on the Raiders, bro. <laughs> Go turn on that thirty one clip, that thirty one tape. Um my rookie year, that yeah. twenty that twenty 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 one, twenty twenty two season. Yeah. That boy was going head to head with Tyreek Hill, Mike Williams, um, Jamar Chase, yep, yeah, Devontae Smith. Yep. And these is names, you like, what? Nah, go look at the tape. The um Facts. The Robert Spillanes, you know what I'm yep. saying? Mm-hmm. My fucking oh, dog. Dog. The Trey, the Trey Merrick's like Yep. I can keep on going for like they like they'll win against anybody. Of course. Yeah. So I, I just got that I got that faith yeah. in our guys, you know what I'm saying? And the sky's the limit. But I see us being a top three defense. Yeah. Just cause of the mentality and who we got as our as our leader. Yeah. Uh, that boy AP, one thing he's going to do is gonna let you be you. If he trusts you to get on that, if he puts you out on that field, I trust you. He's gonna let you be you. Yep. yep. And he understands that aspect of the game. He's a player's coach. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Players' coaches, if they can get the remedy down right, mm-hmm. they're the best one. Yes. Yeah. He brings they it understand, himself. they understand not only how to let you be you, but they understand that you are, you're a person off the field too. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah, a person yeah. outside of this building, and I know how to approach him too. Yes. And handle him Definitely. too. It's not just football all day, so every time. that type of person that it's like genuine with, like on some real shit, you could go catch, go catch a dinner with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can go to the bar with this dude. For 100%. Real, you know, yes. Have a little drink and talk for real. Like you yeah. can run. Like Sunday come, you run through a wall for him. Yes, so definitely. That combination is special. The Mount Rush. So we break it down. You know, we we ask every every you know every person we got on here, who's their top four, their Mount Rushmore, or their position. Your top four cornerbacks of all time. Your Mount Ooh. Rushmore. Ooh. And Damn. Nate Hobbs' opinion. Of course, Dion. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Revis. Yes. 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 Of course, Charles. Yes, yes. So that at four. That's three right there. I can go Temp. I can go Daryl Green. Oof. Who else can I go? I can go. I hate to. I hate to do this that. This tough. Ah. Cause whoever the fuck you. Leave I don't want to say like, his name. Fuck. Who? Cause he's still playing. Uh uh-uh. uh. I know who you're gonna I say. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I can't. Got it. Not. It ain't nothing but respect. Neither. But yeah. He's, He's still playing, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't want to give him that yet. I, I ain't going to do it. I ain't gonna what do team? It. You already know. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, all right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go champ. 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 Really? Yeah, beast. You no, it? I'm not. I'm. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Remix. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Who's Rod Woodson? What? 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 Rod yes. Who? Rod Woodson. Yeah. Rod Woodson. My yes. Fault, yes. My fault. Both Woodson's <laughs> covered. Yeah. On there. Yeah. On that list. Charles Woodson, Rod Charles Woodson. Charles Rod and uh, Rod was a beast. Um, 
Revis Island. Revis. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a strong. Who's line. the most underrated corner in the NFL right now? Ooh. Underrated. Just one. That's a great question. Damn. Damn. It's There's tough. I know. Yeah. I know. We we talk about it with receivers and stuff all the time. Damn. And it's like. <laughs> It, it's tough because I got a couple guys, but it's hard to. Stevie Nelson? Nah, he's <laughs> fire though. He, he is know. fire, bro. He is nah, fire. Nah, uh, it's 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 hard because I got dudes in mind, but like it's hard to be consistent at cornerback in the league, like to be like yeah. consistently good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like he he's underrated, but he's not. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Jair Alexander though. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he, I don't think he's really underrated though. He's underrated, he's but he's nice not. As fuck. He's nice as fuck. You know what I'm gonna go right now? We need like <laughs> I'm gonna go. Just, I'm gonna just go off the past season. He had um, dude. Um, hang on, what's his name? For the, I'm tripping. Man. Dude for the Bears. Uh, um, he's nice as fuck. Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson. Jaylen Johnson. I like that. They got a nice little squad. It's we so, keep saying that today. Yeah, Bears got a nice. Bears got a squad. Do. They do. Yeah, we're got doing some that. weapons. They have Keenan Allen now. It's yeah, crazy. it is crazy. That's what, it's so random. It is crazy. It's so random how they use them all. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you got well, another all right, no. <laughs> to go yeah. come back. I said about the receiver. I'm gonna come back. Yeah. One of the toughest covers. That boy. Um. Um. What's his name? Garrett Wilson. Garrett yeah, Garrett Wilson. Wilson is. That boy Cole, he just had no lie. no like help last year. He was routes on air. Cole. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, gang. That man. <laughs> <laughs> that man. I was in the slot. <laughs> and I'm watching the film all week because I'm like, I got locked in with his ass. Mm-hmm. This man out there playing basketball. Yeah, hooping. Man, so, yeah, yeah. He's out. He's at two. Probably giving away too much information, but it is what it is. Y'all gonna change it up anyway. <laughs> He's at two on the ball. He's running that slot fade in trips. Mm-hmm. I keep I keep seeing it. He running the slot fade, you know what I'm saying? In trips and he does his, you know, little extra shake, little extra shake release. Yep. And then burst so burst. It's like uh fourth quarter. I'm looking at the sticks, it's like third and six or whatever. Like third and medium, but you know, teams on my phone. You know, um, teams, teams they'll try to mind, mind freak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can I ain't say, say no. Hey, pause. you can say whatever you want. That's a, that's a pause. Yeah, mind. I don't want to fuck you. Is that what you just said? No, it's a mind. Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. That's you crazy. That's crazy. I thought that's what he said. Yeah, that's nothing yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's nothing yeah. Literally. You see so that. They're trying they to mind fuck you. So they're, you're going to be like, okay, they're going to run sticks and they'll throw a shot. They'll yeah. throw a deep one. So, Chips, I've been watching this uh, formation all week. He's been running his slot fade. Man, he must have came off, snap the ball. <clears throat> Quick as I'm like, oh, shit, let me get my space. You know what I'm saying? We finna run. Yep. So he sets it up, gets to, you know, gets mm-hmm. to getting high and shit shaking. I didn't turn my hip, bro. He broke a slam. He <laughs> put that foot in the ground so crazy, bro. I was like. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like, he caught a picture like like MJ when Allen Iverson was crossing his ass over. He was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Put my foot in the ground. Got out of it. I keep hitting it. Right. Got out of it fairly quick, but like I was like, damn, that boy cold. He's cold. Yeah. Cold yeah. Well. He's definitely He's gonna nice. be interesting with with Rogers healthy. That's gonna be yep. yeah. he's gonna get the hundred and eighty love. targets. Hella love. Yeah. Well shoot, let's head it over to keeping it creole with it. Keeping it creole. All boy. right, Nate. So we have a few few things either gonna be a this or or like a that. So first one, three picks off of a rookie QB or one pick off a top five QB. Three picks. Yeah, fuck yeah. Easy. Bigger Bulls, what if, if D Rose doesn't get injured or Jordan doesn't retire to go play ball, baseball? Ooh. Ooh. I ain't going to lie. That's a good one. <laughs> For real. Cause... Damn. Got to go with my dog. 
if D Rose don't get yeah. his yeah. Yeah. ACL because they might win a championship. Facts. They might win a championship. Yeah, Bron wasn't in the East for sure, maybe. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they was competing, bro. They 100%. Were. They was really competing. Yes. Joakim, Joakim Noah, Noah, your favorite player. Yeah. That's who Carlos Max Hoops Luzo. like. Yeah. Yeah. Lou Aldane. Lou Aldane. I wasn't going to give him the credit, but he was whooping. Lou Aldane was, was nice. He was who else did they have? Carlos Boozer. Carlos yeah, that's Boozer. who else did uh, Heinrich. Uh, bro, oh. bro, 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 was, they had the other African Nigerian, the wing player. You were a Bulls fan? Yeah, sure. 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 <laughs> sure. I was going to say, who do you root nah, for nah, in Louisville? You just root for the college team? Biggest team. You just yeah, pick a team. That's the college city. Yeah. So, like, Louisville, like, the, the university there, that's the, that's clearly like that. If I went to the university of Louisville, I made it to the league. Yeah. Oh, that's like making the it city. to the league. Like, if you would have got an offer from Louisville. Yeah. And went to Louisville, like, you didn't, you made it. You yeah. a legend. Yeah. 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 Did you have an offer from Louisville? No, I didn't. Know. Which, which is so crazy. Uh, so Big Ten ball. And, and then the last ACC. one. They... Illinois, University of Illinois was my only offer. Yeah. That's so like all of us, low key. I mean, that's my only power five offer. Okay. And you had Lovey, right? You had Lovey Smith was there? Smith. Okay. Love Shout out to Lovey. And you've grown up on the East Coast, live now on the West Coast. East Coast yeah. or West Coast? When we say East Coast, we talking about South too? Yeah. I got love for both, man. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna go south. I mean, we go east, but yeah. I'm gonna go south. Yeah, it's cause like that's where I'm comfortable in. That that's where you get the most love at. Genuine love. I feel like people with the people is where you go. It's just hospitable. Yeah, all right. that. So hell yeah, southern hospitality. But like okay. west is. It's different close. vibe. It's yeah. close. It's yeah. a vibe. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. A vibe for sure. All right, we got the rush mail. Who saw the post? We probably read all the questions already, but the yeah. Condor Cartel, uh, they'll submit some questions for you. So, uh, Nick Medina wants to know, which rookie DB has impressed you the most? This, uh, this OTA so far? The new From rookie? last season. From last season, yeah. JB. Um, JB, uh, Jacorian Bennett. Uh, your uh, dog yeah. came in, threw him in that water. He, he, he played, uh, I can't remember if he started. I can't remember if he started or or uh, not that first game, but he bought out. And every game he's been in, he's he's he produced. Done well. yeah. He's produced for so. Dope. Uh, next one, probably last one. Uh, we got Kevin Bosey wants to know your favorite player growing up. Players. We'll give hey, football. Yeah. Football. I, lo- I used to love running backs. Chris Johnson. Yeah. Yes. AP. Chris Johnson was so cool. Chris, Chris was Johnson. Sweet. That motherfucker. That, that's, probably my, that's probably my favorite player yeah. of all time. I'll go. But Damian Thomas was I, I, fucking cold. I, I, I'll go um, a little switcher, switcher roof. You know what I'm saying? That people probably want to be like college football. I want to be like DeAnthony Thomas. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah he was cold. cold. Shout out DeAnthony Thomas, man. I, Did they call him the bad? Was he, he Black Mamba? On the field. Yeah. I wanted to be Black like that boy when I was, when I was a youngin'. That was like my, that's probably my favorite college player of all time. Yeah, he was Phil. Uh, he rocked a rolly on the like, field. That's like Tavon Austin with that same yeah, like style. Before, just before like, yeah. you he could fucking different. even wear him. In college. Yeah. Yeah, he was different for that. That's crazy. That whole Oregon, like, that run they 2010s, had. bro. Yeah. Oregon was so cold. They didn't miss with the jerseys. Dennis Dixon. And they were like the best Jeremiah team to not win. They, like, they were yeah. always there, but never got it done. Look at her blunt punching dude mm-hmm. from uh, yeah. Boise. Yep. Yeah, knocked him out on the field. Yeah. Broke his shit. After the game. Yeah, broke his shit. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Good. Yeah, it was good. Their, their heyday. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's all we got then. A little yeah. rush, man. Yeah, that's it. Holy shit! All right. Well, man, we've been going for a minute, huh? It's been a yeah, probably two hours. I mean, I mean, I was a good guest. Oh yeah. yeah. Great, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Look at it. Shout out to Nate Hobbs <laughs> in the building. Rush, man. But shit, we appreciate you. You already know you're my brother, bro. Simple and plain. Always and forever. Only, yeah. only getting started, bro. We got a lot of, a lot of shit to accomplish. We appreciate you, bro. You're a brother to me. Love you to death. Love you to death, brother. Love you, yeah. bro. We appreciate Thanks. you. I appreciate y'all for having yeah. me too. Love of course, bro. It means it's all love. Yeah. It means the world. Yeah. It's all love. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've been prepping, bro. I, bro, <laughs> yeah. I was Come nervous. On. I ain't gonna lie. He's like, I'm is, it, nervous, is it smoother dude. than he thought? I was like, bro, what if you hit me with a question and I just sit there like stump? <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> no, you can always up. cut it. <laughs> and I got all these good ass memories and I'm the, I'm the same way I don't like have a great being memory. a buzz <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, 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 great. and big shout out to Giuseppe and Eight Lounge and yep. the whole resort world we appreciate you guys that's Go the right. biz walk up in it like yeah I'm really him talking my shit like turn really him on God walk up in it like yeah I'm really him Talking my shit like Jump really here